Calandra choked back tears while apologizing for responding to NDP leader Tom Mulcair's questions on Canada's mission in Iraq. This NDP MP says rogue or not, the apology was the right thing to do. The whole thing has made me really sad all week because it does reflect so poorly on all of us and it makes, it devalues the institution. Here we see Nova Scotia NDP MP Megan Leslie commenting about how a non-response style answer to a question in the House of Commons by Paul Calandra made her sad all week as these types of things reflect poorly on all members of the party and devalue the institution. Well, as a Canadian citizen, I wonder out loud, where were you, Megan Leslie, and where was our Canadian media when this former card-carrying separatist minister and former interim leader of your own NDP party, Nicole Turmel, stood up in the Canadian House of Commons, an institution, need I have to remind everyone, that is modeled after the British homeland, no less, and basically sent a message to all other members of the House that no matter what language they are more comfortable in, she demands that members responding to NDP French questions must either reply to her members' questions in French or be completely cast out from this Canadian, supposedly bilingual institution. Mr. Speaker, enough is enough. 75% of our questions are put in French and answered in English. We know that the Parliamentary Secretary can speak French. He should either speak French or they should find someone else to do it. Contrary to this, what amounts to be bullying by Nicole Turmel, which states that members must reply in French when asked a question in French or be told to leave the House of Commons, wasn't the concept of this institution being bilingual supposed to be about the idea that those comfortable in French could speak French and have the respect of being understood while at the same time those more comfortable in English could speak English and have the same respect of being understood? Doesn't that seem like a more reasonable and equitable concept when it comes to bilingualism? Instead of this demanding, I speak French, therefore you speak French also, no matter if you are more comfortable in English or not. You speak French, you speak French. Especially when we're talking about a country that, let's face it, is still a majority English country. Considering how graciously hospitable and respectful the English have been throughout the past decades to the French minority in this country, especially when one reflects on how little respect is afforded the English language by the French powers that be in the social and political arenas within the de facto nation of Quebec, wouldn't it have been a much more worthy cause for you and, for that matter, our Canadian media to take on Nicole Turmel for her disrespectful and over-the-top bullying demands, which, if truth be told, reflected much more poorly on your French separatist-heavy NDP party and played a much larger role in devaluing the institution than anything Paul Calandra said or did in this situation? Just asking. <laughs>